Hello everyone, my name is Michel Patel and today in this video, I am going to discuss about Fano interference, specifically about the acoustic version of Fano interference. So let's go to the Fano dimension. Let me give you the overview of this video. First of all, we'll discuss what is Fano interference and then we will see that the uh, Fano interference in the different branches of physics and in acoustic. Then, all, then after we will see the experimental setup to study this phenomena and at the end we will see that why one should study this phenomena. So let us start. So Fano resonance is a universal phenomena which, which, is, uh, which occurs in the various branches of uh, science and uh, where it is observed where the wave propagation and interference are possible. Fano resonance occurs when the interference of broad and narrow spectra of radiation happens and it gives the rise to asymmetric line shape. And this phenomena is named after Italian Amer American physicist Hugo Fano, who gave the theoretical understanding of this phenomena. Okay, guys, I know that uh, just by hearing to this uh, definition, it is not uh, possible to get very good understanding or the intuition of this uh, term, what is Fano interference. So let me make uh, make let me explain you in the simple terms. So uh, uh, we you guys must be wondering that what is special in this resonance, how it is different from the nor normal resonance. So let me give you some analogies. So first of all, let us see the normal resonance. I guess first time we learned the normal resonance, uh, this resonance term in electronics in LCR circuit. So in in LCR circuit. For a specific frequency, we uh, we get a very good amount of current, very high current. And here I have shown the uh, graph of it. So as you can see that about the uh, this graph is symmetric around resonant frequency. So this is normal resonance. And in Fano resonance, this curve is not symmetric around resonant frequency. It is asymmetric. And that's how it is different from the normal resonance. And this is the phenomena of Fano resonance. And since this phenomena is related to the waves, that's why it occur in various branches of physics, just like uh, nuclear physics, atomic physics, condensed matter physics, electrical circuits, nanophotonics, and in mechanical waves, and etc. If you want to study more about these branches, I have given the reference, you can uh, refer that reference. Uh, at the end, you can see uh, see that reference. Now, let us talk about Fano interference specifically in the acoustic version. And to understand it in the easy word, I have given uh, this definition that when transmission of two waves happen through two parallel channel at the same time, one having sharp resonance at certain frequency, and the other having broad frequency transmission. And the interference between the two leads to anomalous frequency dependent transmission. In particular, the transmission line shape is asymmetric about resonance. And this is due to a sharp phase change of pi with frequency in the resonant channel and almost no phase change in the other. And this phenomena is called Fano interference. So in this definition, I have used uh, some words so which are not easy to understand. So let me discuss more about them. What do we mean by sharp resonance channel? So uh, if we if we apply sound or if we give sound from one end of the pipe and if we record it from the another end of the pipe, we we will see that we we don't have uh, the full transmission of sound from one end to another end for all the frequencies. There will be very narrow brand of frequency or very few frequencies for which we will get very good transmission of sound. And that curve will look like resonant curve, normal resonant curve. And that's why it is called the narrow, uh, narrow or the sharp resonance uh, channel. And there is another channel called broad transmission channel. Apart from, apart from this first channel, here in this channel, we get very good transmission of the sound for almost all the frequencies. So 
when interference happen between the these two sound carrying channels we get a asymmetric resonant curve and that's phenomena is piano interference in acoustic version now let us see the experimental setup to study this phenomena i have i have just given a schematic to uh, make you guys understand that uh, if we have if let how we will check the how we will make a resonant channel we need two channel to study this phenomena one is resonant channel and another is broad transmission channel and then we will do the interference of both of them and we will check it so first of all we need to make a sharp resonance channel and for that as i said we can use a pipe and at the one end I, we can connect speaker and another end we can connect microphone but we need to uh, make sure that the both end of the pipe are closed and uh, we will we have to make sure that uh, the sound is not leaking outside and the noise is not entering inside so we'll try as much as possible we will try to make it isolated noise isolated and uh, our speaker will be connected to a signal generator and our laptop can be work uh, work as a signal generator and the, this microphone will be connected to a signal detector and analyzer the same laptop can be work as this device and the resonant frequency we can estimate by this formula we have learned this formulas in physics so here i have tried to avoid the mathematics here i'm just uh, want to give you a overview or the interview uh, introduction of piano interference if you want to learn more about it you can check from the reference which i have listed at the end of this video so uh, by doing this we will have first uh, first resonant uh, transmission channel now our job will left with to make a broad transmission channel and currently uh, i am working on this idea how i can make a broad transmission channel and the next job is to make the interference of sound from sound coming from the both channel and uh, i want to observe this uh, asymmetric line shape and uh, for which i am preparing some computational programs and uh, uh, preparing my setup so i haven't shown uh, it in this video but one can definitely try at their home uh, it's easy to make just i'm uh, now thinking on how to how i can make a broad transmission channel okay so let's at the end uh, i let me talk that why one should study this phenomena why uh, special uh, it is so special in phano interference so uh, phano resonance exhibits a sharp asymmetric uh, peak and which is very sensitive to the surrounding parameters so that therefore this phenomena can be used as a sensor in the sensor devices we can also use the uh, this phenomena is useful in the clocking devices optical switches and lensing devices so there are several phenomena it this phenomena occurs in so many branches of science that's why it has new n number of uh, applications i hope i i was able to convey and uh, make you understand the and give you a basic idea of phano interference if you want to study more about this topic you can refer this uh, 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 refer this papers and you can always uh, check on the articles on the internet and if you have if you want to discuss anything with me on this topic you can comment down uh, on this video or contact me on my email address and if you don't have any question let me give you one if you would have observed at the starting of this presentation i i use the term phano resonance and then i shifted to the term phano interference so why this you can think over it you can search on internet and uh, anytime you can discuss with me if you want okay thank you bye bye